All right, so this thing has been acting up, and uh, I mean, it's working now, but it wasn't before, so I'm gonna change the battery on it, and hopefully that will rectify our problems. So let's go ahead and close this door here, and we just have to unscrew here and here, these two screws, and we should be good. Turn some lights on. All right, so I've got two Duracells, and we're going to go ahead and put those bad boys in there. Um, I'm going to get a little closer here so you guys can see what's going on. And first I'm going to reverse the uh, drill. All right, so here's, that's forward, right? So to reverse it, I've got to come on here, press this, and now this bad boy will go in reverse. And I think I may need a bigger bit. So I brought this bit, that way I can get past the door. You follow me? This thing here, because sometimes you can't get your driver in there. So this should work, right? So let's try that. So I've got to change it. I'm going to pop this one out. Just twisting that, pull it out. Set it over there. We don't want to lose it. Let's put this one in. And then we're just going to put it on forward. And I'm just going to tighten it. Oh, that's on there now. Then I'm going to go to reverse. And then let's go ahead and just get these out of here. Okay, that's that one. All right. Now we got to get this one here, right? There we go. Bam, done. So we got our two two things off of there. And uh, <laughs> that does not look good. Why did that do that? All right. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. All right, so I'm thinking that I can pop this out like that and it'll come off. There we go. And so here's our battery, right? And um, I mean, this should have stayed just in there like that. You know what I mean? But of course it doesn't. All right, so here's our battery. So it's no big deal to switch it out. And you know what's weird is that this was a pretty new battery. So I don't understand why I'm having a problem with it. You follow me? And uh, see if I can get it out of there. So I just popped it out of that little, if you look, there's a little sleeve there. And then I just gotta get this off of here. So you see there's, right here is the, is the female and the male. Should just pop right off. Okay, this is the male on the battery. And, oh shit, oh. Oh, we got a problem now. That is not good. Look at that. It broke right off. But I can see what the problem here is, look. So this thing corroded on there. So I'm gonna have to go buy a whole new, a whole new uh, lock. You see that? Because now this is no good, I can't use it. That's a nightmare, that is not good. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be Home Depot time. Shit, give you a better look at this. You see that? It's all corroded. I got my new ones here. And look at this. I mean, I could, I could get another like terminal like this, but you know what? I'm just gonna have to go get a whole new, whole new system. Damn it! So I gotta pull it all out. So we're gonna, we're gonna take it all out. But I gotta get out of the apartment <laughs> to do that. And uh, which means we gotta. Oh yeah, that's not good at all. That is not good at all. All right, so I'm hoping I can just slide this over it and then twist it, and then we can get out. You know what I mean? Just push this on there, and uh, because <laughs> right now we're stuck in the apartment. So unless I had a pair of pliers, I could twist this, but I might be able to get my pliers. Let's see. And it's a good thing I brought along a pair of pliers because we would be SOL. You follow me? Okay, we're out. <laughs> Take that off. All right, so I just unhooked it, really, basically. So let me show you what I did. This piece here is smushed in here like that. You follow me? That right there goes in there. So I just unplugged it. So now we can get that front of it off of there. Set that there. And I just gotta come around here. And yeah, let's check it out. Bam, done. All right. 
So this one, this one is no good. Unfortunately, it's brand new too. I mean, I just got this. Kind of pissing me off. All right, so let's set it here. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Just a little itty bitty part just ruined our whole day. Now we're going to Home Depot. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so I can't close this without taking this out. Otherwise, I'll be locked in here. So I got to get this out of here. So we're just going to take that right out. Keep that one. Set it down there. Let's get the other one up. Because if I close the door, I'm fucked, right? I can't keep in the room. So this has got to come out of here. And that's that system right there. All right, let's put it over here with the rest of this jumbo jabber jubilee. All right. All right, so anyway, there's our problem. Corroded. I don't know if the battery is bad or not. It looks a little bit bent. Um, this completely busted off. Look, you can see it. So that's definitely a defective unit. And I think this was from my old one. I just left it in there but we could put the new one in. And, um, you know, this this actually is probably still pretty good. I mean, it, sh it should still work. And then this is the back. So, um, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to get a whole brand new one. So that means a trip to Homes of the Depot. All right, as usual, every single project, a trip to Home Depot. All right, what do you think? Okay, so $150, well, $59, actually $160 later, I've got this Schlag um, keypad, and I'm hoping that this is exactly what I need. So let's go ahead and open her up, if it'll open up. When I was there, every single one of these boxes was torn, so I don't know what the heck is going on. Let's see what we got here. I think I'm going to turn it upside down and just kind of pull it out. All right, so there we go. And here's our box. And I do believe, yeah, this is how it opens up. Check it out. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. All right, so here is, <laughs> I don't want you seeing the codes, but this is the keypad. And underneath here is the secret code for this um, specific keypad. So you need that. Don't lose it. All right, let's see what we got in here. All right, so here's our, here's our door latch. All right, it's going to go like that on the door. So it's basically exactly the same as this one almost. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, see, basically the same, right? Pretty much, I think. Okay, now let's see what we got. Oh, here's our here's our pad. And let's take a look at the pad. This is the new one. And here is our old one. So it, actually that's the top. Alright, you get you see that? So basically that's the exact same thing, right? So that's not I'm gonna need all this stuff. Oops. There's grease on some of this stuff, so be careful. All right, so that's the box. Put it over there. So here, here you have it. Look, here's our here's our uh, our device, and check it out. I mean, pretty much same, right? This is the old one. Set it over there. That's the new one. I mean, these are basically exactly the same. This is all the new stuff here. All right, so let's see what's in here. All right, so anyway, inside of this box you're gonna find all of these components. Number one, you're gonna get a key so that you can't unlock it in case the battery dies. Right there's where it goes, all right? Then you're gonna also get this special little thingamabob here, which I don't know what it does. We're gonna to have to read the directions. Here is the actual, you know, bar that locks your door. It slides in the, in the uh, nook and, I don't know what the fuck this is called, but anyway, there it is. And then this thing is your faceplate that you can put on. If you need to and then you got four screws two here two here and these two screws which are going to go here and here and this is your back plate that's on the inside of your door and this is your face plate that goes against the door and then this will set on top of it like that okay that sets on top of it like that now this is where your battery terminal is that's where you hook your battery up and then also there should be a little connector in here somewhere oh there it is right here so this right here, we've got to connect this to this, all right? You follows me? So this was, this is kind of like pushed through here, 
but we're gonna have to pop it out, all right? If I because we're gonna have to feed this through probably here and uh, connect it to the uh, this position, this piece right here. And then of course we're gonna put our battery on there. And that's basically it right there. That's how it works. All right, let's go ahead and put this thing together. Step one, we're gonna put this in the door and these two screws we're gonna need to do it. That's our next move. All right, so anyway, there's a face plate here that I've already got there. And so you've got to put it with the attitude of this smushing against this like that. You follow me? So you got to make sure you put it that way on the door. So we've got to slide it in like this. Just like that. And bam, Bob's your uncle. All right, so now we just got to get our screws in. Got to put it for in the forward position to do it. Not too bad, right? Let's get this one in. We're in. Looking good, right? Right now we've got to put our front piece on and then we put the back on. All right, so that's what it looks in the inside. We've got to slide it through there. This thing seems to be moving a little bit, but I think that's okay. This is what it looks from this side. And that one's in there already. Looking good. Okay, now we just got to put our front piece on. All right, so you see this, this is like square. That has to go through in the very front. That front square area, that's where I've got to get it. So let's do that. All right, so this I need to go underneath, underneath there. And then I've got to feed this through. So I'm going to kind of slide that through and grab it, right? Then I just got to get this into that little square, just like that. And I'm on there. Now I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some tape on this. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get a good sized piece of tape here. Oh, look at that. And then see if I can just get it to stay on there. I don't want to shut the door because I won't be able to get in. That would be a big mistake. Just like that. Just going to hold it for just long enough so I can get the back on. All right, so let's go to the other side now. I'm going to show you here what we got going on here. All right, so now this is all the way through, right? And then we've got this in. And we've got to connect that to our base plate. We're going to put our base plate on next. So we got to get this, this here through this little hole. So we're just going to pop it through like this, just like that, and pull it. And then we've got to connect these. So if you look, you're going to see there's little itty bitty holes there. Let me show you. So if you look there, you're going to see the little pins, the gold pins. I've got to fit that one piece inside of there. So I'm just going to squeeze it in and that's going to snap together and that gives the uh, the electrical flow to the outside uh, keypad. Okay, so let's do that. So now what I've got to do is just get them lined up. We're going to line them up like this. And then I'm just going to push it together and it snaps. Bam, done. So now that's in, right? So this is going to set just like that on there, okay? And then this here is going to push under there. And we've got to be careful because we don't want this to fall. But once we've got this in there, it should be okay. So this is going to come down here. But first we've got to get this through there. Okay, I think that'll work, right? Just like that. And now this is going to we're going to put the battery on. All right, so let me grab the battery. So we've got a 12 volter. we got a male and female. Get a male and a female, right? So we just gotta set them properly together. Here we go, just like this. And I can hear it buzzing on the other side. And then the battery is gonna fit right in here, just like that. And then this, we just gotta smush in. Bam, done. Now we can set this on here. Just like that. Gotta get that in the center. And then I've gotta match up the back, this, with the other thing. All right, so this is gonna go on this way. So I've gotta get this so that I know when I flip it around. So this has to be like a mirror image of this. So you make that a mirror image of that. And then we're gonna push this on and then we're gonna screw it together. All right, so let's check it out. So we've got a mirror image here, right? So we know that we're gonna be good going like this. It's gonna fit right in there. Let's slide it on. Get it in. There we go. All right, so we're good. Okay, let me, let me check it out. 
So I've got to hold both sides. You follow me? <laughs> All right, so now let's just get one screw. Let's get one screw. Let's get this other one in. All right, so now I'm going to switch hands and we're going to come up a little bit. All right, now we got to get, gotta, gotta get this on forward. Let's just get it in there. Okay, that one's in. That one's in. Okay, we got it done. So let's see if it works. That's encouraging. All right, here we are on the outside. I think we're pretty straight. There we go. All right, so that should that should do it. And uh, now we just got to put the codes in. Go ahead, and we're going to shut it and see if it shuts okay. And let's see if it opens. All right, so that's good. Closes, opens, done. Okay, so that's that's how that works. <laughs> we finally got it done. So just so you guys know, when this is in this attitude, it's up and down like this. This door is unlocked. To make it lock, you've got to keep it here. You'll hear that little click. And now it locks. So now to unlock it, we can go ahead and put our, uh, our code in, our four digit code. So I'm not going to show you guys. Okay, then I come here and it unlocks. Okay, I'm done. And then in a couple minutes, it'll lock. So we're good on that. <laughs> All right, that's how you do it. All right, our door's working. We got a new lock on it. We programmed it. All right, to program this, I'm going to tell you how to do it. You're going to get a program code, which is on this paperwork, and it's six numbers, and you got to put it in there. So let's just say it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you do that, for the first time, you're going to wait, and then you're going to get three orange beeps up here. This is going to turn orange. Beep, 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 beep. Once that's done, then you're going to press that, and it's going to turn blue. Then you're going to press one. Okay, and then you're going to wait for three more orange lights. One, two, three, bam. Then you're going to enter your new user code. Let's say it's six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then you're going to wait for three orange beeps. Orange, 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 bam, done. Then you're going to do the same code numbers in there again. Boom, 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 boom. And you're going to get a green light. And it's going to be a long beep. Okay, and bam, then you're in. Now you've got a code and you can open up your, uh, open up your door. If you want to delete a user code, um, you put in your six numbers, you do that, you know, it's basically kind of like the same thing, but you're going to hit two, all right? Then you're going to put whatever user code is, you get the three beeps, then you do it again, and you get a green light, and that means that you delete it, whatever that, whatever that number was. Um, then if you want to change the programming code, that's a much bigger thing, but I, I would just stay away from that for now. But let's go ahead, and we'll go ahead and put our code in, and we'll see how we do. All right, so I'm going I'm to go ahead and put in the uh, programming code, which is six numbers. And I'm not going to let you guys see, okay? So you guys just relax while I do that, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the uh, programming code, which is six numbers. And I'm not going to let you guys see, okay? So you guys just relax while I do that, okay? Now I'm waiting for the three beeps. I got them. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to press the button and wait for it to turn blue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, look, it turned blue, all right? So then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to press one. So this is the first user, right? I got my three beeps. Now I've got to enter my user code that I'm going to use. So I'm not going to let you guys see that, okay? Okay, let it in. It beeps three times. And now I've got to do it again, and it should turn green. Bam, green. We're good. So we're ready to go. So just so you guys know, when this is in this attitude, it's up and down like this. This door is unlocked. To make it lock, you've got to keep it here. You'll hear that little click. And now it locks. So now to unlock it, we can go ahead and put our... Uh, our code in, our four digit code. So I'm not gonna show you guys. Okay, then I come here and it unlocks. Okay, I'm done. And then in a couple minutes, it'll lock. So we're good on that. <laughs> All right, that's how you do it. All right, well, our door's working. We got a new lock on it and we programmed it. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you stuff like this. Peace out.